guys, welcome to another video. If you watched my latest video when I unboxed my ants, you probably know that I'm sick. I'm not doing too well. But last video I got a box with ants that I really wanted to unbox. And I also said in that video that since I'm not doing too well, I'm gonna do the setup of the terrarium when I'm feeling better. But knowing myself, I couldn't contain myself. So that's why I'm sitting here. It's literally like 10 minutes after last video. So in this video, I'm gonna set up the first terrarium for one of the colonies. And the reason why I'm doing that is because they have 20 to 30 workers and they can have an outworld. But as you can see here, I have blocked off the entrance to this ant nest right here because this ant nest is too big. Like I said in last video, if you give them that much space, they gotta use the nest to have both the garbage place and graveyard inside the nest. So that's why it's important to not move them into a big nest right away. So I blocked that off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this tube to the side right here and I'm gonna cut this off right here. I'm gonna apply the test tube to this side. So the test tube will be their hide, but they can use the outworld, which is this place right here, where they can actually go and collect food, they can go and drink, and they can go and get the sugar water. So hopefully that will help the colony grow bigger, quicker, because they can actually get the food and moisture whenever they want to. So that is the plan. But one problem I have right now is that this tube that I'm gonna use to have from the nest into the outworld is way smaller than the test tube that the ants are in. So you can see here, there's so much room for the ants to get through. So my plan is to do like this and then use tape. So yeah, so they can't get out because we don't want that. So the first thing is that you wanna glue the ventilation to the top, which I already did right here, so they can't get out. And the other thing is we don't want the ants to be able to get up to the top. And that's what I'm gonna use is this. So I'm gonna use this to apply around the barrier on the top right here. And that's gonna prevent the ants to climb over it. So I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse and fix that real quick. And I'll see you guys soon. All right, so now it looks done. Uh, I think this has to dry before it actually starts to work, but it looks fine now, so while I wait, I'm gonna take this test tube and this thing right here and I'm gonna attach it to the terrarium. Alright, so something like that. This test tube is obviously too long, so I'm just gonna cut it right here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the test tube, put it here and then just tape it. And then I wanna cover this section right here and have this dark. Uh, so this is gonna be their nest and then this is gonna be the outworld where they can go out and forage for food and sugar water and water. So now we're gonna add the sand. I'm gonna use this brush right here to even it out. Then I'm gonna take some of this moss. Something like this to have in there. Maybe a little piece over here. And then, kinda wanna, this is a vine, but I'm gonna use it as like a branch. And I'm just gonna put it. And now I prepared some sugar water, which is in this one and some water. So I'm gonna use the water in this and sugar water in this. So I'm very happy they got this in my order, even though I didn't order it. I can do it like this and I can fill it up. I'm gonna put the sugar water way over here and then the water The water I'm just gonna put right there. And the last thing I wanna add is this little cap. And in this cap, I'm gonna take two legs from a dubia and see if they wanna eat that. All right, 
So now the setup is pretty much done. I have some seeds, but I'm gonna wait to put those in there. I wanna see if they're gonna grab the dewberry legs first. And they also have some seeds in their nest already, so I'm not too worried about the seeds. Anyways, now to the scary part, which is adding the ants. Are you ready? Because I'm not. All right. So I did the test run with this tube and this cord and this tape and it worked fine. Um, hopefully it will work fine now when there is the real test with the real ants. So I'm just gonna do like this. I'm gonna open this up because if ants get out, I can just take them up and put them in the out world. Okay, I'm gonna prepare some of the tape I'm gonna put the tape right here. Because the best area to do this will be right here. And uh, I have this little thing uh, to pull out the cotton. All right, you guys ready? Um, you can see the ants are up here, which is not good. Let's go. All right, I think that went pretty well. You can see the queen ant, she's right there. You can see all the workers, they got so defensive. Um, they don't know what's going on right now, which is understandable. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cover this part right here. And whenever they want to leave this section, they can just walk out to the outworld. All right, so now the plan is to cover the nest so it's nice and dark. And after that, I'm going to show some footage of the ants exploring the outworld. So let's roll the footage right now. All right guys, so that was my setup for my Messer Barbarius. I am so excited that I got this done tonight, even though I'm not feeling too well, but yeah, I'm super excited how it turned out. I'm super excited to see how the colony is gonna do now when they have an outworld. But now I'm gonna get some well-deserved rest and try to feel better because tomorrow is a big day because tomorrow we start with the project behind me, the terrarium wall. So I'm super excited for that. I hope you liked this video, so leave a like if you did. Leave a comment if you have any questions or any tips about how I can actually do for the colony to do better. Because like I said, I'm a newbie, I've done my research, but like I said, nothing beats experience. So if you have anything to add, please let me know. And then I will see you in the next video.